Uh, I say, it's me, JC, and Buck. Play with us, you f Put his body in the truck, then we take him to the dump. And they know we play for keeps, and they know that we ain't sweep. Grab a broom, we finna sweep. O block finna clean the streets. Boy, you better grab a heat. Put your name by RIP, or your name get turned to weed. Fuck the. Uh, we ain't goofy do that crash. We gon' spin and spin again. We gon' hit our last friends. We gon' show him we ain't playing. We gon' leave him where he stand. That's really, yeah, that's all I wanna be successful. Right, big goof ass, man. Check it out. Give me you not gonna give me no 50 back. Hey, no, since you want you gotta throw a whole block. How do I do that? Yeah, throw a block. Everybody throw a whole block. We're here in the uh, Parkway Gardens Housing Development in Chicago, otherwise known as O-Block. A uh, 24-building complex on the city's south side. It's where Michelle Obama grew up, and it's also where drill music began around 10 years ago. This is Bostock. He's been here for a super long time, so he's going to take us back to the very beginning where it all started. So right now you're in the 44. You're in one of the gutterest buildings in the block. This motherfucker be the last building to get cleaned up. This bitch be dirty as hell. This building be dirty. I'm from this building. Bro, I used to be one of the most places to piss in the, in the hallway and on the elevator too. I ain't gonna lie. My mom in the bathroom, I'm beating against one bathroom in here. I'm going to piss in the hallway. I still won't touch the buttons on the elevator. I'm straight knuckles. To you, like, what is drill music? We started the word drill with our music. Like, let's, let's do a drill. We started that shit. I describe drill music as it's violent, but mainly fiction. It's like realistic fit, fiction music. Music that make you wanna kinda get outside and go just be outside, you know what I mean? Back to that breaking news live from Chopper to a mass shooting. At least six people shot. This all happening at 65th and King Drive in Parkway Gardens. Makes sense. You get on going. Everybody around this bitch got PTSD. Everybody around this bitch seen somebody die. I feel like things bad everywhere. Things just bad in Chicago because like this shit came like a movie to people. Like when it first got famous, people started like it was like we was characters. Like damn, like you got me look like an assassin. It's your boy DJ Academics, and now information has come to my attention. Now y'all know I call Lil Rage the Chirac Grim Reaper. Well, pretty much because every time you look through his mentions, you see a bunch of dead niggas. It's your boy DJ Academics. If you don't like it, kill yourself. Shortly after the rise of O Block rappers like Lil Durk and Chief Keef, a massive industry of online gang gossip began. Initially spearheaded by one man, DJ Academics, with his series War and Chirac. We have a bloodthirsty audience, especially music. The more people die, when someone gets locked up, their streams are through the roof. Did you feel responsible for like inflaming gang tension on the streets by covering things? Hell no. Everybody wants an easy scapegoat. I don't believe I caused any murder, but if, you, if my videos, because they were popular, instigated any two parties, I'll take blame for that. But l let me tell you this, accountability is hard to take, man. Today, the most popular platform to take notes from academics is called No Jumper, a hip-hop podcast that's taken gang gossip to a new level. Do you even know about gang shit when you first moved to Florida? When did you actually become a 5-5 Crip? You are widely known to be associated with the Hoovers. I went on the podcast to ask the host, Adam22, why he creates this type of content. Do you think drill music is uh, bad for society? Yeah, definitely. How come? Because people are in gangs killing each other and making songs about it and making it sound super cool and even me as like a 38 year old fucking white man i listen to it and i think that it sounds kind of cool and I, I struggle with that but definitely i think it's probably as much as i like listen to it it's probably got to be a net negative for society right just just the romanticization of violence in general do you think you help make it look cool mm. what you just saw was three minutes of our 30 minute documentary on oblock if you want to see more, go to our Patreon, www.patreon.com channel 5. It's about five bucks a month and it supports our entire production budget. Thank you.